good morning you guys welcome back to my channel it is 5 12 a.m right now and i'm getting ready to go to clinical so i thought i'd take you along with me i can't vlog much but i'm in the pediatric yard ER today so i thought it would be fun to kind of be able to explain my day for you guys um we have to be there at 6 15 and yeah so i thought i'd just start this vlog and just kind of explain my day and y'all seem to like these so without further ado let's get into today's video and i hope you like spending the day at clinical with me so i've just washed my face and brushed my teeth i'm just putting on my moisturizer right now um i don't do anything crazy on clinical days just my CeraVe moisturizer and my sunscreen um, and then we just have to wear our hair up but last week was our first clinical day and it was so much fun I really enjoyed the pediatric kids and today I'm in the ER so I'm kind of excited to see how that goes um, I've only ever been in the ER at my job when I was floated down there and so it's been a while so I'm excited for that so I'm just rubbing in my moisturizer and then I'll be done with my skincare and then I'm going to take some vitamins. Um, I forgot to restock my vitamin thing, so I've just been taking my multivitamin um, and then my probiotic, my L glutamine, and I think that's it. I mean, they're all in this bucket, I just haven't uh, like sorted them out in my pill jar, and I just am too lazy to do it right now, so. I'm just gonna take these three. Um, so yesterday I didn't vlog for you guys, but I had the best cardio day ever. I did five and a half miles on the elliptical, burned 700 calories and was on it for an hour. So it was crazy. What did I lose? Also, we are so freaking close to a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. We're nine away. And my goal has to be, my goal is to hit it at the end of April. Cause that was like the exact year that I started my channel. But then my second goal was to at least hit it by the end of May, which would be like 13 months of me having it, which is still really good. And so I'm hoping we hit that by the end of this month. So it is now 516. I have done all the things I need to do with my skin. Now I'm just going to go to the kitchen, prep my breakfast and like my lunch and stuff, feed my cat, and then I will be getting dressed. So I will be right back. I'm gonna fill up my water and then pack my lunch box. I think I'm just gonna bring leftover spaghetti for lunch, which is in here, so I'll have to dish that up. And then, so I'm just gonna get some of this spaghetti. I'm also going to bring this because before I break my fast, I drink this and I'll drink this at lunch and I'm going to the gym after clinical today. I'm forcing myself to go. Um, so I'll need all the energy I can get. So I'm just going to put this in here and then 
this. And then I'm gonna get some of my granola, Rice Krispie, and granola bar. I'm gonna do a fourth cup of this. So this is a fourth cup. And I'm just gonna put it in this tiny little container. Oops, spilled a little. Sorry, you guys. I wish that my mornings were like very put together. But no matter how long I do these early mornings, I'll never have like a good routine. Okay, it is 5.22. I need to hurry it up and get dressed. Um, I'm just going to add in this honey. And that's my lunch. So, I'm going to get dressed. I'll show you what outfit I'm picking out. And then we need to be headed on the road. Alright, so I'm in my closet. So, I'm sorry for the chaos, you guys. I get, like, really flustered in the morning. So, I'm just going to wear these mandala joggers. With a matching jacket that has my badge thing on it or whatever. And then the matching top. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll pop back in. I'm all dressed, but I wanted to show you all this cute badge roll that I'm gonna wear today that I got off of Amazon. Look at this little giraffe. <laughs> How cute. So I'm going to put on some perfume, deodorant, um, my jacket, I'm just gonna hold my hand. I'm gonna do my hair and then I need to leave. So let's go do my hair and then we'll be on the road. This perfume. do my hair um I'm going to put it in a ponytail so I straightened my hair yesterday for my interview and it was so pretty and now I did that whole workout on it and now I have to wear it up today so I'm like well I straightened it for no use other than the interview. Which it really didn't take that long to straighten my hair. I'm just lazy. But I'm gonna see if my clinical instructor makes me put my hair in a bun. We shall see. I'm just gonna braid the ponytail done it's not perfect but that's okay so I brought my ATI book to read over because I typed all my notes and I don't want to bring my laptop so I'm just gonna read that and then this is our clinical book that we have to do our like charting or whatever and then my stethoscope case with my litman and then a pen light and stuff and then that's all I'm bringing. And I'll just bring my water and put it in the side pocket and then my lunch. So 
I am going to grab, gather my things and head that way and I will talk to you when I'm in the car. Sorry for the terrible lighting. I have about a 20 minute drive. It is now 537. So I will talk to y'all when I arrive. Look how cute this bad drill is. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> see me but I just got here it's 6 a.m. I'm going to sit in my car until like 6 10 and then head inside so like I said today I'm in the ER probably won't be able to film anything um, maybe only my lunch break and stuff like that but I will give you all a little debrief at the end of the day on how the ER was for me um, but yeah that that's pretty much all I can do. So I will talk to y'all when I'm done with clinical and let's go get these 12 hours done. patients in the ER, not that many, but we just saw a baby come in, a little four-week-old, and we got to see a spinal tap on a baby, IV, all of that, so now we're going to take lunch, but so far it's been great. I love pediatrics, so I will show you my lunch and then probably update you at the end of the day. you guys I just got done with clinical it is 4 36 I'm on my way home um, clinical was good today it's just kind of slow in that ER um, but the nurses were sweet um, we just didn't get to do much like skills wise or anything but the patients were super cute and um, you know it's good to just experience it and be in the environment um, even though you know I wish that we could have done more with helping out and stuff but each nurse is, has their own preference, and if they don't want you to do something, then, you know, we don't have to. But anyways, I'm on my way home. I'm about 10 minutes away, and then I'm going to try to immediately change into my gym clothes um, and work out. And then after I work out, I will kind of give y'all a debrief. I know I had some, I put a poll up this morning asking people what they would like me to talk about on my clinical vlog. Um, so someone wanted me to talk about what specialty I'm wanting to go into, and then someone wanted me to just be honest and open about how my clinical day went, which I usually am with you guys, but I'll just go into more detail as much as I can without HIPAA, of course. Um, but yeah, so I'll go over like a debriefing little moment after I work out, because the longer I stay at home after getting home and not going straight to the gym, I won't go. So um, I'm gonna head home, or I'm heading home. So once I get there, I will let y'all know. Um, I'll show y'all me in the gym and then we'll talk about today. Alrighty, I got changed, just in biker shorts and a big t-shirt. I got my AirPods, my Celsius, my water, 
and I'm just gonna go do cardio because it's better than nothing, but I'm tired and I need to make it quick because I need to come do some homework. So I will see y'all after my workout. Just got done. I just did 15 minutes on the tre uh, elliptical. I burned 200 calories. I'm gonna go home and do some abs but my feet are killing me from doing the elliptical for an hour yesterday um, and I just couldn't stand it anymore. My feet are actually tingling and numb so I don't wanna overdo it or hurt myself. Um, so, just gonna come home and do abs and then tomorrow I'll do arms, and or tomorrow I'll do legs and then Friday I'll probably do arms to give my feet a break from cardio because my feet are starting to hurt. So, listening to my body, not gonna push myself, so I'm gonna go home and do like a quick ab workout um, and then shower and I'll let y'all know how my day went. All right, everybody, I am situated, showered, I've eaten. I just have to do some homework and read my book. But I just wanted to sit down and go over how my clinical day was today. Um, so I am in pediatric course right now, so I'm taking pediatric clinicals. So we started last week and I was um, with the child life specialist that day. And then today I was in the ER, so it was kind of the first time of seeing like actual patients bedside and the different pace it was in the ER. And I actually really liked it. Like it was, you know, sometimes it was slow, sometimes it was fast paced and I just kind of liked the environment down there. Um, we got to see like patients age ranged from three weeks to 10 years old today is the age range that I saw. Um, I saw IVs placed in babies, Foley's, um, I, I saw a spinal, um, they had to do a, uh, spinal fluid, like, what is it called? A spinal tap, something like that. They had to get spinal fluid to test for meningitis, so I saw that. Um, and then giving meds, I saw how, you know, they treat different patients for different things and how they prioritize things and how they know if they're not, you know, needing to be admitted and all of that. So it was super fun. Um, I really liked today. It was good experience. Um, although I do wish I could have done more hands-on things and that the nurses were more attentive and kind of let us know like what was going on. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Um, I also got asked on my community, I asked a question of like what y'all wanted me to talk about on my clinical vlog and someone asked me what unit I want to do when I become a nurse and pediatrics a hundred and thousand percent like I am literally obsessed with pediatrics I like it's just a whole nother world like don't get me wrong I love my adults and I you know I will always have adults to go back to because I know I do well with them and I know a lot about them. But something about pediatrics just really has me sold right now and I can't get over it. Like I smile from ear to ear the entire clinical day. Like clinical doesn't feel like, you know, clinical. Oh my God, like I'm just having so much fun seeing the kids. And no, I don't like that they're sick and that they don't feel good and that they're, you know, screaming, crying. But just something about it just feels like so rewarding. I don't know how to explain it. But yes, pediatrics or NICU or something with PD has my heart. Um, but yeah, that's all for my clinical day. Um, we didn't get to do much hands-on, so I don't really have many skills to tell you, but I got to see a lot and it was cool to see like how they do things with babies and toddlers and you know school-age kids and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I kind of tried to show you a little bit more of what a pediatric unit looks like and explained about my day. I had a really great day. Um, I'm going to close out this vlog here because I have a lot of studying to do. 
um, for my next exam. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love taking you along with me and showing you all my journey through nursing school. And we are so close to a thousand subscribers, you guys. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. We are like six away and that just blows my mind. So stay tuned for a giveaway coming soon. I am working with the brands right now. And yeah, so I will see you in my next video, you guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this. Bye.